Chest and thighs, touch your ground. Jump on over. That's fine, just jump over. shower guys because I've been at CrossFit this morning just got back in a mad rush today the Friday rush is on TGIF but guys it's less than a month away no just to be safe I'm probably going to say about a month four weeks and that is it until I most possibly get the keys to the new house guys which of course is a very big deal for me and all of us involved it's gonna be so fun it's gonna be a blank canvas to do whatever we want with a house. Guys, it's gonna be so, so fun. But there's one person that hasn't even seen or been told about my new house, and that is a dear loved member in my family called Jim. Sometimes you gotta write a new love song to get the old ones out your brain. Yeah, you gotta write a new love song to get the old ones out your brain. And I think I got one Yeah, and I think I got one Wait, do you get a shower? Oh, so you get a bath and a shower yeah. But that is also a shower as well yeah. Oh, so you could have well, four people taking showers at once <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can show you my house Oh um, Okay, right, if you lean out this window You can see my actual house You see the one right at the end with the with oh, the, the with the tiles yeah. on the so my shower will be like this. It has this like little cool. It's all electric, so you click the little button and you can choose your temperature on there. But as I say, the downstairs bathroom, kitchen, and all these tiles. This is what. I mean, this is where you'll spend the majority. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So I'll just have like a telly on the wall or something. I've got these bifold doors as well. So guys, that was Jill and Martin. They are family members of mine, and uh, they live up in Middlesbrough. That is actually where my family are from. And if you guys knew that, we actually support Middlesbrough Football Club, like all of us, just because like it's tradition and. We don't do this fantasy. Oh my god, I support the best. So yes, we are Middlesbrough supporters. My entire family, if you didn't know that. But guys, I'm just giving them a tour around the show home. And as I've told you guys before, this is the show home that's going to look the most like mine. Most of my options are like this. So you have the, the marble floor, granite worktops, LED strip, which we will change out for a Philips Hue one or something. But guys, I am just super pumped for us to have our own space. I can literally be as loud as I want in the new house and nobody nobody will care and we can have a whole house every single square inch of it to do cool projects and make it the ultimate I don't even know. The ultimate Mars bar house or something like that. So as I say guys, it's about a month until the house is finished, maybe a month and a half at a push. So many meetings as to which I have a little meeting with these guys now. My final, hopefully my final meeting before I get the keys in a month. And I think I got one. Yeah. This is just the final, this is the final yeah, thing. Yeah, and I think I got one. Cheers guys, thank you. Cheers. Sweet guys, into the office, meeting all finished. Show my relatives around the show home of my new house, which again is going to look a lot like my house and my house will be finished hopefully in the next month and a half. It's a nice Shottington. So guys, as I say, in the office I have taken away from my meeting some incredibly detailed plans right here. These are, uh, well, I got some first hand looks today at some stuff that I've never seen before. So guys, check this out. I took some photos on my phone. So this is actually a digital render of the outside of my house. So I don't know if you guys can, can see this as well, but can you guys see that it has like a, a wall around here and then, and then that is the upstairs plan and then this is the main plan of the downstairs so as you can see just here is the walk-in well the walk-in kitchen dining area and then over to this side over here that is going to be where my cinema room is then you've got a downstairs toilet and a corridor and the stairs so i've never actually seen these plans before this is proper detail that tells you where all the light switches are going to be guys this is sick i'm buzzing and i think i got one I just feel like Patrick Starr and Spongebob in the movie where they're doing the slaps thing like Oh, oh yeah so, get the old ones out your Good day! Brain. How are we? Sort me out, geezer And I think I got one Yeah, and I think I got one 
So guys, down here on the table, I have got a plethora of camera equipment. I've got three lenses here, I've got a camera, and I've got a way of mounting that camera. And tonight, guys, I want to go and do one of my favourite things that I love doing with photography, and that is, as you guys know, night photography. Taking photos at night, yes, it doesn't seem real, does it? Well, with this camera, it does. So as usual, guys, before I do anything practical with cameras, I like to talk you guys through what I'm going to be using, so then if you guys want to go out and do the same thing, you guys can choose the same sort of lenses I will choose, the same sort of gear, and go out and take some amazing photos, and then of course share them with me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. So, what lens do you need, guys, when you're taking nighttime photography? Well, you need a lens that goes wide open. And now bear with me here, pause the video, go get some coffee, and listen to what I'm about to say. The lower the f-stop number of the lens that you're going to use, the more light it will let in. For example, this lens is a 28mm prime lens from Sony, and this is an f2. This is a golden master lens. Now this goes from 16 to 35mm constantly at f2.8. f2, f2.8. And then this lens, this lens is an f4, and the one that's shooting this video right now is also an f4. Which is the best lens? The f2. It lets in the most light. The lower the f number, the more light it lets in. Now your choice of camera doesn't really matter because we're going to compensate the light for shutter speed. More on that when we go out and take these photos. I'm going to be using the Sony Alpha A7S as you can see with that massive sensor in there it's able to capture or let in a lot of light with its full frame. This is my old vlogging rig by the way. I'm going to be buying a brand new vlogging camera tomorrow so stay tuned for that. And I think, my friends, we are all ready to go. His music is saying you to the audience, but in a really beautiful way. It's like, you, I love you. Now let me play you some beautiful music, you know? So there's this feeling like, um... Now, as you can see on here, that looks pretty bright already. But here's the settings, guys, that I'm going to use. What I'm going to do, guys, is put the camera in fully manual mode. And then what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to have the shutter speed on 10 so the shutter will be open for 10 seconds, F2 and then an ISO of 125. And let's see how that looked. I'm really intrigued to see what the snow is going to look like on these shots. Assert their own will and not worry about how it's being understood. Hey, you know what? That was pretty cool. We need a bit of a longer exposure though. Car coming down about now. And firing the shot. Car coming down. Hey, these aren't half bad! So the important thing to remember, guys, is a long shutter speed. It's going to keep the shutter open for much longer. You'll get the really long light trails. The longer the shutter speed is open for, the longer the light trail you'll get. But it really does just depend on what you're looking for. Let's try this again. Honestly guys, just go out and try it. Those photos were absolutely terrible in comparison to some of the long exposure photos that I have taken throughout my entire career, taking photos and, and video and, and different things like that. But it's all about guys just going out and chancing your look and you may get a good photo, you may not. There may be cars on the road that are gonna yield a good photo or it might be minus three degrees outside and no cars and loads of snow. But the most important thing, guys, is that we did it and we got a little bit of a result. These photos aren't amazing, but they're, uh, they're pretty cool. So with that being said, guys, that's been my week. Friday, done. We'll be back on the vlog tomorrow. And uh, Saturday, I'm off down to London. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, 6 a.m. for a meeting. Oh, and don't worry, I'll be bringing you guys right along with me. Guys, stay awesome, keep smiling. Adios. Just a rock and roll with your mother in a run down facing the forest. Yes, sir. I could take you to somewhere far away that I know. Wake up in the morning, gotta thank God. I got a pretty blonde girl in a tank top. And shoot her anything to please me. She's fine, but I swear my love's blind like Stevie.